Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, but if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do and, in fact, will do greater works than these because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. If you will, please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Let us now pray together. Dear God, we thank you, Lord, for the miracle of life today and the wonders that come with it as we reflect on this past week, Holy Week and of Easter. And as we start a brand new week today, particular blessings coming to us this day for the gifts of those people that are creative who go out and bring joy to those who are in suffering or hardship with their crafts and talents. We also keep in our prayers the teachers that are in our school systems today as we start a new school week, who continue to express their efforts through both in-person classes and virtual for the children that they teach and the knowledge and gifts that they are providing and delivering to children, as well as the parents and for patients to be strong with them as their kids and adults both continue, both continue to face hardship through the changes that so many have had to face in this last year. For all these things we pray today in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great start to your week on this Monday today.